we will need implicit differentiation for us to find the derivative of y with respect to x here. Okay, so um, I've got some different terms over here that I'm going to take the derivative of with respect to x. However, I am going to go ahead and distribute this x through. Okay, um, so now I can take the derivative of each term separately. So the derivative of sine x with respect to x would be cosine x. The derivative of x would be 1. And then on this part here, I'm going to have to use the uh, product rule. So I can take the derivative of the first thing times the second thing plus the derivative of the second thing which would be secant squared y um, times the first thing. Now on that one, when I took the derivative of tangent of y, since there's a y in there, I actually took the derivative of y with respect to x. So that dy dx or y prime is what we will be solving for in the end. Okay, so what we're left with is a little messy looking, uh, but we've already taken care of all the calculus here. Now we're just going to use algebra to manipulate this and solve this for y prime. So I'm going to subtract this one over. That'll get me one step closer to what I actually want. Um, I guess I can also subtract over this tangent of y. So I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Save myself one step. Okay, and that's positive. All right, and now I've got the derivative of y times all of this. So let's get rid of all of this by dividing it out, which is only okay if we divide the other side equally. And now I've got the derivative of y. The derivative of y with respect to x would be a cosine x, a minus one, and a minus tangent of y. All of that divided by an x times the secant squared of y.